Hey folks, Aaron here from Aaron's Practical Reviews, and today we're going to talk about one of those things that nobody really wants to deal with, that is your camera bag. And uh, in my opinion, in, in my experience, your camera bag actually will become one of the more important accessories you own. Because as you build your kit, whether it's multiple cameras, you're definitely going to have multiple lenses, you're going to have tripods. As you build this, you're, it's going to become more and more difficult to decide which lenses to take where and what equipment to bring with you when you go either to photo shoots or just out having fun as a hobbyist or whatever the case may be. It becomes more and more difficult to decide what, what to bring with you. And me personally, I find myself where I want to bring everything. Obviously, I can't bring everything, so I've got to decide. But narrowing it down becomes more and more difficult, obviously, the smaller space you have. So, for example, I started with this bag right here. This is this was my first bag that I ever bought. It's a little low pro I bought from Best Buy. I don't even, I can't even tell you what the price of this was. It held one camera and about three lenses, the T7i and a couple small lenses, okay? I quickly outgrew this bag, which wasn't a problem because then I, go, I went to this here, this larger Canon bag, I believe this was around the 70 or $80 range. I'll link these in the description below because I have no idea what these cost. Uh, this one I bought a couple years ago. And then this bag here, which I'll show you the insides of all of them here in a second, that held a lot more and it held multiple cameras. Okay, then I got into another, I, I took another step up in my equipment and I got this guy. The... Tamron 150 to 600, which is an enormous lens, which would take up that whole bag, the second bag, wouldn't even fit in my first bag. So then I had to upgrade to this huge backpack type bag. And when I went to that bag, that's the last bag I bought because that fits pretty much everything that I need it to fit at this point. So I had to go through that progression of bags and it, I still to this day struggle with which bag to use based on the situation that I'm going into and because this is a big decision that has to be taken seriously I think. and it really does take some careful consideration so you're not wasting money and buying the wrong bag for the wrong situations. So here we have the basic low pro bag for most entry level DSLRs like the T7i or the SL2 and what this has it's very, very basic. It's got one pocket that you might be able to fit maybe a microphone in. Okay, possibly, not even this one, but a smaller one. Maybe some ND filters, some very basic things. Maybe an extra battery, maybe a battery charger. Okay, then it's got a couple of side pockets here. You can fit a small lens, like maybe the 24 millimeter or even the 50 millimeter if you wanna to try to carry a lens outside the bag. It's got a couple of sides and then it's got this fairly small pocket here and I've got enough room for the camera and possibly one extra lens, maybe two if they're on top. And it did come with some compartment separators that you can put in to separate also. However, as you can see with just one medium sized lens that's the sigma 18 to 35 millimeter so with just that lens on there this bag's basically already completely taken up and if i only need this i feel lucky at this point because it becomes a burden the more stuff you take to carry however it is nice to have that extra room when you need it so this would be a medium size to large bag it's got straps that strap very nicely to hold the lid down. And then when you open it, it's got multiple compartments you can access here. For starters, up top, it's got this guy, which is fantastic for holding microphones. I store my microphone in there when I go places. And it's great for the dead cat and different accessories that are small and lightweight that can be smushed up against lenses and it doesn't really you know, hurt them. It's got multiple compartments for multiple cameras. 
and also large lenses. So in here, the Sigma 150 to 600 does actually fit. So I can take that places. However, it does squish this these other compartments, makes it difficult to put a camera in there. However, I can if I need to. However, basically the lens uses up the majority of the bag, so it's not ideal. But if your only purpose is like telephoto activities, such as, you know, those long range shots, birding, uh, wildlife, sports, this, this bag does work fairly well. And then just for general photography, it's got a bunch of different pouches for batteries. There could actually fit some smaller lenses in here, which is really nice. So you could put your 40 millimeter, your 24 millimeter, even your 50 millimeters in the sides here if you needed to. Unlike the other one, it does have these spots here to hold either a tripod or a monopod. It's got the straps. So you could put your monopod or tripod here and have enough gear in here to actually go to a photo shoot or to do some long exposure or something like that. Pull out the tripod fairly easily. And now it opens up a whole different style of photography because of the accessories and the amount of gear you can take in the bag. So this is just a fantastic all around bag. So this could probably withstand quite a fall and not damage your gear. It's very well made. Now let's go to the huge bag that I got when I really want to take a ton of gear and I know I'm going to need most of it. All right, so one of the nice things about this huge, heavy bag when it's completely loaded is how it straps onto your back. Because if it was just hanging like this, that would get very uncomfortable very quickly. But luckily, this has a couple features to it that are kind of unique to this bag. For example, it's got these here. If you see these pads, that cover the strap and it attaches to your belly like this or to your waist whatever and then you can tighten it and what it'll do here is it allows you to now oh, there we go it allows you to take the bag off and spin it which I'll show you but this will attach there and this holds it really good really tightly to me so when i'm walking it's not bouncing and it actually distributes the weight pretty nicely so i don't have that strain on my shoulders that i might have if it wasn't there and it's actually very comfortable and i can walk long distances without it really being a major issue so but here look the nice thing about this particular bag is that if you take this off it opens from the inside so nobody can steal anything. But if you take it off, this actually will flip down and just sit on your belly right here. And you can open the bag and access your gear in here. And now you can do stuff with it and then pull it back up when you're done exchanging lenses or trading them out. You can zip it back up and you're good, you're ready to go. Put it back on, and I typically will have a lens, or I'm sorry, a camera strap around my neck, and it will hold it, so that way when I'm exchanging all that, it's ready to go, and boom, very comfortable. Now look, I'm wearing a nice golf shirt. <laughs> this probably isn't something you wanna take everywhere you go. But as you saw in some of my other videos, when I'm hiking or out on the trails, or if I've got, if I'm down by the water or something, this is perfect because it just holds everything tight. I have access to it if I spin it around like I showed you, and it just makes it really comfortable and really easy to use. There are a few options there for bags. Now, these are just the bags that I've purchased over the years, and uh, the Canon bag and the larger bag. I really put a lot of consideration into buying before I bought them based on my style of shooting, the gear that I own, and also planning ahead for the gear I was planning on getting. Now I'm pretty much done buying lenses for the most part for a while, so these bags should hold me over for a while.
but I'm continually changing which bag I'm using based on the situation and it's a constant struggle on what gear to bring. That's it. Uh, just wanted to show you a couple options, the options that I use and hopefully that's helpful. All right. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. Stay safe. Um, I think we're about one tenth of the way through this. So probably another five, six months till we're back to normal. It is my estimation. Five or six months. We'll see. All right. Thanks guys. Stay safe. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.